What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're rocking out with everybody's new favorite dessert, Hydra Apple, a dragon apple, right? We went from Apple in to Apple Pie Dragon to Flying Apple Dragon, now to just like Worm in the Apple Dragon. That's all the Apple informs. Pretty cool, but love this Pokemon so much. Haven't used it on the rank ladder in a good bit, so today's gonna be a fun video showcasing it yet again. We're rocking out with a full blown Trick Room team that features Indeedee Hatterene. You also have Ursaloon to pair up with those two. And you also have Glacier, who's low key very strong in Trick Room with Icicle Crash, Stop and Catch from Sword Stance and Protect. Really do like this Pokemon so much. Can't really have a Trick Room team without Iron Hand, such a solid Pokemon in and out of the Trick Room with Fake Out, Wild Charge, Dream Punch, and Bolt Switch. Really liking this moveset, cannot wait to use it. But the Pokemon that we're trying to showcase today is Hydrapple, so let's go over its moveset and its items. It's got Assault Vest as item, rocking the Super Sweet Syrup as its ability, so every time it hops onto the field, everybody's evasiveness will lower on the opposing side. It has an amazing moveset of Giga Drain, its signature move Fickle Beam, which I absolutely love, Earth Power, and Hydra Pump. Love this Pokemon so much. You get the super sweet syrup, meaning your Hydra Pump will actually land 100% of the time. So we added the Water Tower on top of that to give it a nice lovely boost. So that's gonna be really good, especially up against like Incineroars who are top tier in the meta right now. Guys, you wanna run the team for yourself? The rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you like it up and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match. First match for today's video on its way, and we're going up against a Charizard team. Always love seeing Charizard, such a dope Pokemon. They're pairing it up with Wimscott to pop that sunny day, and then on top of that, they have the Bulldoze Weakness Policy Metagross combo with Latias, right? Looks like it. And then Urshifu and Sheer Force Lander. So, very strong team with multiple different combos. How should we play this one? I feel like Trick Room is an absolute must. So, you might just want to lead Hatterene and Indeedee here, set that psychic terrain. Get the follow me's going, get Trick Room out and about. Sounds like the best play for us. In the back end, Hydrapple's gonna be great considering it has a bunch of good coverage moves, such as that Fickle Beam, well, Fickle Beam stab, but you also have Hydra Pump to deal with the Charizard, and you have a uh, Giga Drain to deal with the Urshifu. So that's something I really, really do like. Going to be Hydrapple. Now, our final Pokemon, most likely gonna be Ursaluna. It's just so strong all around, right? I mean, you got the Earth Power, you got the Stab, normal. Can really do a lot of damage on pretty much anybody you want with the normal moves besides like steel types but in that case we have the earth power so its typings really do help out each other so yeah final pokemon gotta be the ursaluna we're going in with full trick room this team thrives on trick room we need trick room set up so this team can thrive so if they counter trick room here we're going to be in a very tough position but ways that they can probably do it would maybe be go like whimsicott and charizard maybe like fire terror set sunny day maybe heat wave across the board that could be tough for us. That could be tough. But no, instead they go with these two. I don't mind that too much. I don't. I don't. I don't because I think I just think we go follow me, we go trick room, and then we just start getting after. It. Right? Most likely. I know you have bullet punch, but we got the psychic terrain. We're stopping first in priority all day. So we'll get the special defense boost. We are just gonna go for the lovely little trick room right here. And on top of that, just follow me. Let's just play it safe here. So we want to make sure we get off this trick room because if I do not hit that follow me trick room button, there's a hot chance that Metagross just goes, hey yo, I'm dropping a Meteor Mash right in the Hatterene, see you later. And even better, they can go Bulldoze first because Latias is going to be able to outspeed. Okay. Makes sense. Let's see. What you got cooking? Hopefully they just like swap the Metagross. I don't feel like dealing with it. Just don't feel like dealing with it. I really don't. Yeah, if I had to guess, they're going to go for Bulldoze here. They're going to pop Weakness Policy. They're probably going to look to rip a Meteor Mash or maybe even just like, I don't even know, a Psychic Fangs? No, probably not Psychic Fangs. Not up against my Pokemon. More so Meteor Mash. So, there's the Bulldoze. The weakness Policy is popped. Now, Metagross, what you got cooking? What you got cooking, please? Meteor Mash? I would think. Plus two Meteor Mash straight into the NDD slot. And lower our speed, but it don't matter. We're popping Trick Room. And, yo, you got EQ. That's a little scary. Katarine, you should soak. Okay, cool. Okay, that threw me off. EQ threw me off. Wasn't expecting the ye old EQ. But EQ definitely threw me off. But from here, I could just go Dazzling Gleam and Dazzling Gleam. Let's look, just, just get rid of this Latias and then bring out our better Pokemon in the back end. That's something I like. 
So hopefully he just pops another EQ, picks up the double KO, and he's just gonna end up Terrasalizing. Is that gonna be Metagross? I'm actually glad they're Terrasalizing this turn, just so I know what to do with my Pokemon in the back end. And it is gonna be Metagross into Dragon Typing. What's the point of this Dragon Typing? What do you got cooking here? We're, dro we're dropping Double Dazzle Gleam, and you go for a Bullet Punch in the Psychic Terrain. What just happened? What just happened? Thank you so much for doing that. Oh my, look, what is the point of that Dragon Terror type? I get using Bullet Punch, I mean, sometimes I forget the Psychic Terrain, but the Dragon Terror type, I'm trying to think of, like, what you wanted to do there. I mean, maybe dodge expanding force. Is that what you were looking to do? I mean, you're stealing Psychic. You would have been fine. You don't die out to that Dazzle Gleam. That kind of hurts. Oh, you wanted to Dragon Cheer. Okay, that makes sense. But you got a bit too greedy, especially with Fairy-type Pokemon on the field. Okay, so we went to Dragon Cheer. But, dude, you already had weakness policy set up. You had free attack power there. Free attack power. The freest of free. You go for a Dragon Cheer. But now Urshfu comes out here. They cannot use First Time Priority. They don't have Terra anymore. And we can pretty much wrap up this match. They're going to cancel this. This one's over. I thought we were going to have to use our back end Pokemon to win this, this battle. But no. This one's just a wrap. And I swear, if they go for Sucker Punch again on the rank ladder here, I'm going to be upset. But they don't. But that's what Gleam's going to fly. And then Hatterene, or indeed, he's just going to finish this one off. Okay, so they have one Pokemon left. It's wraps. Big mistake on their end. Not to just pop another EQ. Yeah, another EQ would have picked up the double KO, no problem. Would have picked up the double KO, no problem. And then it probably would have been Metagross versus my back end Pokemon. Which I feel as I still would have won. I definitely feel as I still would have won regardless. But hey, now we get a sweep maybe? Depending on who they go into. Because if they go into somebody who's going to be weak to this uh, expanding force, I'm going to drop it. I'm going to drop expanding force. Let's see, we're neutral to Expanded Force, and it's going to be you. Yeah, I'm definitely going for Expanded Force on you. We're going to go Expanded Force, pop a nice little helping hand. Let's wrap this one up early here. Little sweep in match number one. Little sweep. Had a ring finish this one off. Actually, you might die out to your life orb, which might screw her sweep over. And see how much HP you're on. But I guess he wants to waste out turn turns. I think we still have one more after this, but it's like you're not winning this game. You're just not winning this game. It's just not happening. And now I kind of want to see, okay, so Hatterene dies out. You know what? I don't even care about the sweep. I'm going to get the win. I was going to say, we could swap into Hydrapple if we want to, but let's just go for Helping Hand Expanded Force. We won't get the sweep because Hatterene's going to die out to Life Orb. We get the technical sweep, the JV sweep. But yeah, this Helping Hand Expanded Force should KO no problem. No problem. Get on out of here. Get on out of here. Yep. That, that expanded was just way too strong. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen. 1 0. Let's go hop into our second match. Moving on to match number two, and we're going up against straight meta. They got Tornadus, they got Urshfu, Shen Pao, also rocking out with Iron Hands, who, who I think they're going to bring, especially with this full blown Trick Room squad. And then they got Fluttermane and Dragon. So from here, we definitely have to pop Trick Room. I mean, every match we're going to have to pop Trick Room, but their only way of counting Trick Room would be Taunt. So indeed, he's pretty much a must, right? It stops first turn priority Pokemon such as Shen Pao, such as Dragonite, such as Urshfu, and on top of that, it stops Prankster Taunt. So yeah, and it stops fake out. So yeah, 100% we're going into that. And we're going into our Lonesome Trick Room user. We'll bring Hydrapple in the back end. Hydrapple's going to be pretty solid up against the Dragonite. It also has Giga Drain for the Urshifu. And what other moves does that? Does it have Earth Power? I believe it does. Yeah. Earth Power and Hydra Pump. I love it. I love it. So I'm going to go into Hydrapple. And last but not least, we could go Iron Hands. We could go Glacier. Glacier, Glacier. We could do that. Stop the catch on Ice Crash Swords Dance. Or I could just play it safe with Ursaluna. Ursaluna is great. We love Ursaluna. Do I go into Ursaluna? Yes. No? E Let's go Iron Hands, actually. I like Iron Hands a bit better here. Just because of all the fighting moves that they can use with Iron Hands, Urshifu, and Sacred Sword on the Shen Pao. But we're just going to go into Iron Hands so I can drain punch a few of this Pokemon. Get off some big time damage. Plus, we have the electric move deal with the Urshfu and the Tornado. So, Ursa Luna, sorry about that. It's all good. Hydrapple's gonna be here. We gotta get Hydrapple out in this battle. But they go Tornadas and Urshifu. So, this is just a pretty simple follow me trick room. I mean, what else are we gonna do here? Follow me trick room is an absolute must. 
It's an absolute must. What are you going to do? Set the rain, go for Surge and Strikes? I mean, that's fine by me if you want to do that. It'd be no big deal. But yeah, this is definitely just e easy follow me trigger. Right? They can't really count on this. But the Pokemon they have on the field, yeah, no, they can't count on that. Because once I use this follow me, their shots can come in. And I doubt they pop a Tailwind. I kind of hope they pop a Tailwind, but they'll probably go for Bleak Wind Storm. So yeah, follow me, Trick Room. What are you going to do? Set up a Rain Dance, go for Surge and Strikes. Definitely an option for them. But in that case, if you do that, you will take out Ndidi. And then I just bring out the Apple. The High of Drapples. The High of Drapple Dragon Apple. Love the name. Love the name. I really do. But follow me is going to come out here. Let's see what they're cooking up here. What you got going for us, Twinatus? Surgeon Strikes and a Bleak Wind Storm. Oh, that's a Choice Scarf Urshifu. That is for show a Choice Scarf Urshifu. We don't like that one bit. So we're going to be able to soak up the Surgeon Strikes. And you're going for a Bleak Wind Storm? Of course you are. And indeed he survives. So we get off another turn here. So I think from here, we are just going to Helping Hand expand the force. Do things start off hot for us? Might as well, right? Might as well. You give me no reason not to. You give me absolutely no reason not to. No reason not to do this. There's just no reason not to. I'd be stupid not to do this. I don't want to do this, but it's just, it would be stupid for me not to do this. It'd be stupid for me not to do this. All right, we got to get high draft out here. That is ridiculous. That is, it's so strong. It is so strong. And honestly, I could do it again. Chances are they're going to bring out iron hands here. You going to bring out iron hands? Is that, is that the play? Iron hand Shen Pao? I couldn't tell you who you got. You definitely have to have Iron Hands, but yeah. I, I didn't want to do that, but I had to. The Dragon Egg comes out. And Fluttermane. Okay, so no Shen Pao. Or even Iron Hands. Okay. So both these guys come out here. So they're probably just going to dash and Gleam me up. Um, I think I'm just going to double down with dash and Gleam here. Yeah, we're going to double dash and Gleam. But they still have Terra, which I would think they would use it on Dragonite here, most likely. But, oh my lord, Expanding Force is just dangerous, man. I don't even know why they put that in the game. It's so strong. You can use it with any user. I think I showcased it. I used to use it with Executor. Like, Executor is not meta. Yet, you put it in Psychic Terrain and use Expanding Force in Trick Room. It's game over, because it's sad. It's just hitting like a truck. Oh my lord, it's like hands down one of the best moves in the game if you can set it up right. And it's super simple to set up. You just put Indeedee next to it. And once Indeedee's out there, you can follow me, expand and force all you want. It's really simple. But they're going to throw Aslides. Chances are it's Dragonite going into normal terror just to dodge some of these fairy moves. And yes, it is. And from here, they're probably going for a Dazzle Gleam. And I would think this thing would maybe be Choice Band, so they might pick up a double KO here. Let's see, that's a losing the cook. Not bad damage. I'll lose some HP. And yeah, obviously I could have just won the match there. Helping hand expanding force. But oh, but you're gonna take out our terrain. Of course you got ice spinner. But you might be choice into that. That seems like a choice move. It seems like a choice move. It really does. It really does seem like a choice move. But we should have two turns left in Trick Room, which should benefit us really, really well. Um I got high Drapple. On top of that, I got Iron Hands here. And I doubt you have Protect Dragonite. I doubt you have Protect. Oh, but you do have Inner Focus, so I can't fake you out. But I get out the Apple of Hydras. I'm going to lower the base finish right here. So Trick Room's going to help us out. I think I'm just going to rip a Drain Punch into, into the Dragonite, right? And on top of that, I got Boost Energy, which is awesome. One of my boosts attack. Attack. Woohoo! I'm hitting hard. I'm hitting hard. But again, should be two turns left in Trick Room. It is. Uh, I'm not going to Terrasalize you. I think I'm going to Terrasalize the Hydrapple. Yeah, into water. We're not dealing with this. We have the Salt Vest, which is good. But yeah, I'm going to go Drain Punch with you. And here, I'm going to Terrasalize straight in water. And I could just go into a Hydro Pump. Would that do the most damage? Yeah, it would do more than that. So yeah, we're just going to Hydro Pump the Fluttermane. Now that it's a base in this drop, 
Hydro Pump's hitting 100% of the time. So I absolutely love Hydrapple here. So we'll Terrestrialize the lovely little Dragon Apple. I love when it uses Fickle Beam and it goes for an all-out attack. Like, a bunch of other dragons come out like you guys can see right there. It has like five other dragons. It's just so dope. But Drain Punch gonna fly here. Bye-bye, Dragonite. Fluttermane, you're next. You know what's coming. Hydra Pump straight to the mid. Straight to the mid. So yeah, this thing was definitely choice banned after it used Ice Spinner. I was probably going after my Hydrapple anyway with that. But Hydrapple Terrasalize in the water. We're dropping Hydra Pump. Landing no problem. Fluttermane, get on out of here. Match number two in the bag. We're lighting it up with this Trick Room Squad. Moving on to match number three, our final match for today's video. Looking to pop Trick Room again. Looking to rock out with Hydrapple. But we're going up against a Neutralizing Gas wheezing team with Reggie Gigas. They also have Cleavor, such a dope Pokemon alongside with Sinistra, Iron Bundle, and Regilecki. So chances are they're going to lead their neutralizing gas. We're going to have to get off Trick Room. And I think just going into Indeedee and Hatterene, probably going to rear play it. Like even though we don't have abilities, I think they still thrive out here. And they can get up Trick Room, no problem for us. So yeah, I'm going to do that. Indeedee, Hatterene coming out here. I love Hydrapple, just such a solid Pokemon with a bunch of good moves on it. And then in the back end, Ursaluna would be good. Iron Hands isn't bad. Glacier, eh, I don't really like. Actually, Glacier is not bad here. But you got a ground move, don't you? You should have a ground move. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you can actually be super effective onto that Weezing, onto that Regilecki. You have the Ice Moves for the Sinistra and the, the Cleaver. You're not bad. You're not bad. You know what? Let's do it. We haven't used Glacier into these videos. We have not used it, so let's use it. You don't see Glacier too much, so we're looking to rock out with it. We're looking to grab ourselves a perfect break because we are 2-0. First match was just the Indeedee Hatterene show. Second match, we could have made it the Indeedee Hatterene show if we would just went for another helping hand expanding force. But now nah, we got Hydrapple in the back end, got to use a little bit. And then in this third match, I would love to use Hydrapple a little bit more here, right? Pop the Trick Room. Hopefully Indeedee dies rather quickly. We get out High Drippy Drapple. And he just gets slain from there. The man, the goat, Hydrapple. I love the Apple family. Applin, Diplin. Oh, I forgot about Diplin in the in today's team preview. You got Diplin Candy Apple, then you got Apple Ton, who's Apple Pie Diplin. You got Flapple, who's Flying Apple. Just so dope. Just so dope. But they're gonna neutralize and guess here with Cleaver. With Cleaver. And yeah, this is just simple. Follow me. Trick him up, right? I mean, you actually might have Trick Room. Which could be scary. I do have Expanding Force. Which is good up against this Wheezy, but we'll see what they want to do. Here. Wheezy might learn Trick Room. He might have some sort of counter for us. I'm going for straight follow me here. Wheezy's just going to protect. That's that's cool. That's fine. So I'm going to be able to get off this Trick Room. Cleaver is probably going to do about half damage, maybe even more to this indeed here with like Stone Axe. Axe Scissor. No, you're dead. Oh no, you survived. Cool. Cool. So we get off Trick Room, no problem. From here, we're just going to drop another follow me. And I'm just going to expanding force this. This wheezing up, right? Try to just get rid of that. So we're going to look for a little bit of a trade action. I take out the wheezing. They take out Indeedee. Because their whole thought process here is just to get rid of my Pokemon. And then get Regigigas in the back end with, with the wheezing, right? That's definitely the best bet. But now I got Trick Room up. And it's pretty much game from here, right? I don't know why. I feel like whenever I get off Trick Room, especially with a full blown Trick Room squad, it's just game over. It's just game over. I just rip with it. I just rip with it. But Expanded Force is going to fly here. Should say bye bye to Weezing, right? Yep. Cool. And now Cleaver will say bye to Indeedee. And I have full control of this battle. I have full control of this battle. Neutralizing Gas, gone. And we get our Psychic Train before Indeedee dies. Something we love. Something we love. And I get Psychic Seeds, but it's not going to do it. It doesn't matter. You drop another X Scissor here. Yeah. Okay, so bye-bye to Indeedee. So that's fine by me. I now get to bring out the Goat. The Apple Pie. Well, not even Apple Pie. The Dragon Apple, I should say. You got to get cooking from there. I have Glacier in the back end, which I like. Um, they're going to go into Reggie Gigas here, which I don't mind. I mean, I can expand the force freely here. Which might be my play. Might be my play. I do have super sweet serum, so I could actually terrestrialize water and go after this. And go after this Cleavor, which actually I like a lot. 
Yeah, I'm gonna try to just KO that. And then from here, we are just going to... Did I protect you, Hattery? I'm just gonna drop in it, uh, an expanded force. Do some nice damage across the board. Yeah, cool with that. So cool with that. So cool with that. And we're gonna tear the water just for a nice little boost. And so we're not weak to X since we don't wanna deal with the X skizzies. So yeah, this one's pretty much wrapped. I, I feel like I dominate with trick or heavy trick room teams. I don't know why. This is just so simple. Once you set up trick room with like Indeed and Hatterene, like their combo, the other Pokemon just thrive out here. The expanded Force is doing a ridiculous amount of damage. An absurd amount of damage. KO and Cleaver and this Hydro Pump can miss you, but it's not. But my Hydro Pump's got my back. There's nothing I clear amulet. Super sweet setup did not hit, but Hydro Pump finishes that off with that. And it's just a simple 3-0 perfect break. This has probably been one of my easiest videos I've recorded for you guys. Not a lot of thinking. Just a lot of pressing A button for me. Like this is this, this is my thought process going in the game. Alright, let's pop Trick Room. Okay, Hatterene's still on the floor. We should expanding force. Okay, let's clean up this battle. That's exactly how it went every single time. But I'm just going to go for a Fickle Beam here. I'm just going to end up protecting Hatterene because I want to see Fickle Beam. And hopefully we go for an all-out attack and start ripping. I end up protecting. Fickle Beam does not get an all-out attack. Come on, Fickle Beam. You're better than that. And you go for a Shadow Ball. Guess what I'm going for? Double Protect Fickle Beam. We're trying to have fun in today's video. So Fickle Beam, get an effort again. Double Protect. Let's go for it. I'm going to land a Double Protect too. I feel it. Never mind, I lied to you guys. Fickle Beam, come back out here. Go for an all-out attack. Come on, Fickle Beam. We want to see all the dragons come out. We want to see all the dragons come out. Oh, you're going to get some HP back. A little biscuit. Oh, not good. We need all the dragons to come back out here. Come on, Fickle Beam. Wow, you're getting some HP. Oh, no, we're in trouble. We are so in trouble. All right, Fickle Beam, Dazzling Gleam. <laughs> we are in trouble. <laughs> Chill. Okay, you're going for Shadow Ball here. The game's over anyway. We won this match, no problem. I have feel like Glacier in the back end. Come on, Fickle Beam. All out attack here, dude. No, why can't you get it? Why can't the dragons come out? Why can't the dragons come out here? Now I'm just going to go into Glacier. Let's wrap this one up. Nice little Icicle Crash Fickle Beam. And I guess we're not going to see the dragons come out here today. Uh, we should just finish this match, though. Drop an expanding force. Very simple. But now they're going to thrash slides. What you got cooking here? You got Water Terror? Yeah, you got Water Terror. That's fine. Fickle Beam still coming out here. We should be fine. I mean, Macha Gotch is looking terrifying. Macha Gotch coming out here. High Drapple Dodge. Nah, that's a big dodge. That's just one of the game the problem here. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, Macha Gotch is a little scary because you get back a ton of HP. But can we get an all-out attack? Fickle Beam, it's your thing. There you go, that's what we wanted. That's what we were waiting for. All out attack with Fickle Beam to end the match. We love it so much. Dragons come out to play. That might have been my easiest recording session I have ever did in this game. Rocked out with Hatterene and Indeedee. Pop trick from every single game. And then on top of that, Hydrapple, Ursula, Iron Hands, and Glacier are amazing in the trick room and great in the back end. Just worked too perfectly. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.